In this video, we are going to see the 10 important concepts in Python. Before going to the video, subscribe to my channel in and around computer. The first important concept is the map function. It is an inbuilt function uh, which permits us to process all the elements present in an iterable without explicitly using a loop construct. So the syntax for this uh, map function is map of function comma iterable. This two arguments that is first argument is a function that is to be applied to each and every element present in this uh, in the iterable and the second argument is the iterable itself on which the function is to be mapped. This can be uh, clearly understood by this uh, from this uh, example following example here we, we are defining uh, the function addition with a def keyword that is a def addition of n which uh, returns n plus n. So we are doubling the numbers using the map function uh, like uh, numbers is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 the result is equal to we are using this map function like a map of addition comma numbers. The, we are printing the result the list of result that is uh, this uh, addition is applied on the numbers 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 and the result is uh, output as uh, 1 uh, 1 plus 1 that is 2 and 2 plus 2 that is 4 then 3 plus 3 that is 6 and so on so uh, the output is got as a 2 comma 4 comma 6 comma 8 so this can be easily achieved by this uh, map function without explicitly using a loop construct. This is the first concept. And next important concept is the uh, iter tools. And this is an amazing standard library called iter tools, which provides a number of functions that help in writing clean, fast, and memory efficient code due to lazy evaluation. And the functions in this iter tools uh, work on iterators uh, themselves which in turn return more complex iterators and some examples are uh, count, cycle, repeat, accumulate, product, permutations and so on each taking uh, their set, own set of arguments and operating upon them. So the result here is a lot faster as compared to the results achieved using when we use a conventional code for these operations. So this is a, an important concept and uh, the next uh, it's the lambda function and python's lambda function are uh, the small functions that uh, do not have a name and are contained in a single line of code uh, so the keyword uh, uh, def is used to define functions in python but lambda functions are, are uh, defined using the keyword lambda they take a number any number of arguments but the uh, ex number of expressions should be only one so it contain it makes the code con concise and easy to read and so for simple logical operations and uh, it's best uh, best to use when you need to use the function only a single time the syntax here is a lambda arguments a colon expression and uh, the example here is we can uh, say a is equal to lambda of x comma y colon x asterisk uh, x asterisk y so the print uh, we can print it as a of 7 if you pass the arguments as 7 comma 2 then we uh, get the multiplication uh, with the result of uh, 40. So next uh, uh, concept is the exception handling and exceptions we know are the type of errors that occur when the program is uh, being executed and then change and change the normal flow of program so try accept and finally are used to handle exceptions in python and the keyword try is used to wrap a block of code that can throw errors except is used to uh, wrap a uh, code block of code to be executed when an expression uh, exception is raised and handles uh, the error and finally lets us uh, execute the code no matter what so these are the um, concepts under exception handling. And, uh, next one is the decorators. Uh, these are very powerful and uh, useful tool in Python. And it takes programmers to modify the behavior of a function or class. It 
takes in a function and returns it by adding some functionality this can this will be explained in the next video with an example so don't miss it the next concept is uh, collection and these collections in python or general purpose inbuilt containers like sets tuples dictionaries and list this uh, collections include a name tuple function which is uh, used for creating tuple subclasses with named fields if you want to know what is the uh, difference between uh, tuple and list you can check my video on uh, must know interview questions and python and order dict which is a dict subclass that's, that's, that is a dictionary subclass that remembers the order entry entries that were added since this python dictionary is not ordered so if you want the order you can use this order dict attribute and uh, counter that is used for counting hashable objects uh, that um, um, objects that have a specific value are known as the hashable objects and uh, this counter is used to count the hashable objects and chain map that is used for creating a single view of um, multiple mappings so this is about the collection and generators and generators in python are a special type of function rather than returning a single value this uh, returns an iterator object which is a sequence of values so it is a utility to create your own iterator function the keyword yield is used in the generate generator function instead uh, in, of the uh, keyword return that we use in normal function and the difference between yield and return is that this return terminates the function but yield only passes the execution of the function and returns the value against it each time so this is about the generator the next concept is the magic methods these are also called double underscore methods and these magic methods are special type of functions that are invoked internally they start and end with uh, double underscores that is uh, double underscore add then it ends with double underscore uh, this uh, braces that is uh, that this seen as a, a line but it's double underscore then uh, the expression number plus five is same as the number dot double underscore add then double underscore of five and this is internally called by other methods or actions so in, instead of using long lines for adding or uh, for uh, instead of uh, writing um, many lines for computations we can directly use these methods and it will run time uh, it decrease the runtime of your code due to the fact that now due to direct usage will be reducing a function call each time the next is the threading and this thread we know is that it's the smallest user unit of process that uh, can be scheduled by an operating system and python contains the thread class which aids in this multi-threaded programming and this is mainly used to speed up the computation to a huge extent as now more than one thread will be performing the task so to implement uh, this threading in python you have to use the threading module then the last concept uh, important concept is the regular expressions and this contains specific characters as patterns that has to be matched and it is used to check if a string or a set of strings contain a specific pattern for checking this this um, regular expressions are used this powerful elegant and concise all, all along with being fast to use python's regular uh, expressions you need to import the ori mod module which contains the function that help in pa pattern matching like find all uh, search split etc so this will make you a good programmer and developer but uh, will also improve code readability and make it faster subscribe to my channel if you feel contented like and share my videos with your friends